Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the people and the government of Thailand, I wish to extend a very warm welcome to the participants of the first Asia Ministerial Conference on Tiger Conservation. I also would like to thank all of you for coming to Hua to participate in this conference, which marks an important milestone in the process leading to the Tiger Summit in Vladivostok, Russia in September 2010. It is therefore a great honour for Thailand to cooperate with the World Bank's Global Tiger Initiative in hosting this event. I hope that our collaborative efforts will significantly contribute to global tiger conservation. We all recognise that tigers face a very real threat of extinction as a result of a variety of factors ranging from habitat loss and prey depletion to poaching. This is in fact a challenge not only for tigers but also for biodiversity conservation and for human welfare. A challenge coming from our misperception in the past that nature's bounty is unlimited and thus can be freely exploited. Now we know that nature is not limitless and both tigers and humans suffer if its free and unlimited exploitation is allowed to continue. In Thailand, His Majesty the King has long encouraged us to live by a sufficiency economy that recognizes the crucial importance of forests in maintaining an ecological balance. Forests are a source of clean water supply. They serve as sinks to capture and store carbon and act as natural pumps to bring moist ocean air inland to provide rain to support agriculture and industry. They are the source of many still unknown genetic resources, vital to medicine, and also places for biological as well as spiritual renewal and recreation. The task before us now is of vital importance. In particular, in accomplishing this task, all of us here will no longer be remembered as part of a generation that has destroyed tigers, but as champions and protectors, and as originators of initiatives for conservation of tigers, as well as our entire global natural capital that is part of our planet's life-supporting system. Fortunately, we have a good start to our task. Our path began last year in April 2009, when the Royal Thai Government hosted the Pattaya Workshop, which saw very useful groundwork discussions and produced a manifesto on combating wildlife crime in Asia. In October 2009, the Government of Nepal organized the Kathmandu Global Tiger Workshop, where the world's foremost conservationists, scientists and delegates from Tiger Range countries gathered. The workshop recommended, among other measures, the development of smart infrastructure and land use, empowerment of communities in and around tiger landscapes, improvement of wildlife law enforcement and governance, building professional capacity, and seeking innovative financing for tiger conservation. Our challenge here is to proceed from these recommendations, particularly by incorporating them into future na national tiger action plans. Together, we can work to identify the political, management, and financial instruments needed to create a global tiger stabilization and recovery support program to take to the Global Tiger Summit in Russia. To accomplish these objectives, I hope the ministers from all tiger range countries not only make bold and unprecedented commitments, but also provide sustained support and monitoring to recover this threatened species. As the host country to this first Asia Ministerial Conference, Thailand is pleased to share our goals for reversing the decline of tigers, which are to promote good governance and enhance local stakeholder participation, implement a smart patrolling system across the national protected area system, establish a regional center for training on patrolling and monitoring of tigers, their prey and other large mammals, continue long-term research on tigers and their prey to provide information for developing a scientific approach to tiger conservation, increase the capacity of rangers and wildlife law enforcement staff, strengthen the ASEAN Wildlife Enforcement Network, and reach out to the business community and the general public for their financial and other types of support for tiger conservation. We hope that the measures Thailand proposes to take will contribute to regional and global efforts to conserve the tiger. Our plan to establish a tiger regional training center at the Western Forest Complex needs inputs and participation from other Southeast Asian nations. 
Thailand looks forward to working with its neighbors and the international community to achieve this goal. I urge you to embrace the challenge, to take the technical outcomes of the Kathmandu workshop to the policy level and help political leaders in Tiger Range countries define bold programs to avert the threat of tiger extinction. The wild tiger is already in crisis. This may be our last chance to save it. Let us start the year of the tiger here at Wohin by turning the tide of extinction of wild tigers and changing the ways we treat the world for our future generations. I wish you all every success in your deliberations. Thank you and สวัสดีครับ